I've never liked Australian pubs. A pub should be home away from home. I mean, you battle through rush hour in London in the pissing rain, and your locals there waiting for you with open arms. I mean, these Australian pubs, or hotels, or bars, or whatever they call them, they're all strip lighting, bar stools, and then big glass windows. They ain't got a clue about ambiance. They're about as inviting as an abattoir. Even there, like I was transparent. 
yeah, it's all right. I said she got used to it. Then I noticed that the drinks were on the bar and the sunshine was waiting to be paid. So how much is that I got? Then I felt his hand. I'll get these, mate. The heat of his hand on my lower back. The fingers moving. Back and forth. <laughs> Three drinks, I think to myself. Thanks very much. <laughs> she stood there with a face like a slapped ass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Australia, dear. And it was gone. He ran to the boy in there. Was it a 10 or a 20? Mm. Oh, the notes are so colourful. They're like plain money. <laughs> you should be getting paid by the tourist office. I said enough. He loved too. Let's get a table. Mm. As he walked across the room, I got a proper look at him. There was something animal about him. <laughs> <laughs> Not one of those dingo things you see on the TV. The way he slumped. Shoulders hunched. <laughs> it was muscly. No. Sinewy. <laughs> I bet he had a t-shirt tan and a washing pad of white backside. Yeah, so we sit down with him, right? There's footy on the TV. Not proper footy. I think they call it AFL. Players look like they belong in a bloody boy band. <laughs> Would you be awkward? No, so there's no rules to this game. I say you just pick it up, kick it and run round with it under your jumper. He laughed. <laughs> All powerful, lifting me, <laughs> positioning me, bending me over the back of the bed, <laughs> holding my hips in place. How yeah, about them bombs in London then, eh, mate? Oh, yeah, terrible, mate, I says. Do you hear them one of them bomb geezers had to go in and detonate it by hand? Every now and then, he looked at me, he licked his lips. Is that right? Oh, yeah, I mean, what a job, eh? Imagine him going home to his missus after that. Hello, dear, have a nice day, dear. Yes, dear, wearing me slippers. <laughs> the beer was going down nicely. <laughs> <laughs> his teeth were sharp and crooked. How do you reckon they get paid? Never thought about it, I says. Yeah, I reckon it's by the bomb. 200 bucks on the meat tray for each one they have pie. <laughs> oh, yeah? And what they do the rest of the time, I says. I mean, how many bombs are there? One a month, they're bloody starved. Yeah, maybe they're playing more bombs. <laughs> His clothes were awful. Cheap. Supermarket own brand. <laughs> so we sat there having a laugh, right? Me and this geezer. Says his name's Bazza, works on the cranes. Good money in crane driving, he says. Not that he gets to spend it. Nah, I'm locked up, mate. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He was from falling! <laughs> Turns out he's in prison at the weekends. I'm like, you have no, mate, hit a fella with an iron bar a few years back. <laughs> <laughs> so they lock him up at the weekends, then let him out again. Can you believe it? I wanted to fuck him! <laughs> <laughs> and all the while, she sat there with this gormless bloody look on her face, but I can't stand it. I says, oh, sweetheart, how's about you get yourself to the bar and get me and my mate here a few more beverages? I says, okay. <laughs> She walks to the bar like she's pissed. <laughs> she's only had one glass. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, I says, how's about you grab some nuts or something? Don't want to have to carry her home, I says to this bazzer geezer. I mean, you see the size of her? Right, mate, anyways, I'll open the drinks. He gets up before I can stop him. It's only three drinks, I said. She's got hands. <laughs> <laughs> he came to the bar. I'll open the drinks. Thanks. Oh, no, silly gown. Oh, her drink over. It goes everywhere, all over him. <laughs> No, that's all right, darling. No, I'm not. And I kid you not, she kisses him. Can you believe it? She kisses him. Throws her arms round him like a wild woman, hands round his bleeding neck, clawing at him like a banshee, tongues going everywhere. And all the while, he stood there still holding my sodded lager. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. I mean, I thought I was seeing things. She, she who wouldn't say boot her bleeding goose, and now she stood there stalking the face of this Aussie geezer like she's Sharon Stone or something. <laughs> Looking, but I tell you, I couldn't bloody move. Then she walks over to me, cool as a cucumber. Goodbye. Goodbye? <laughs> Good fucking bye? And I'm saying, mate, can you fucking credit it? Full money. Never saw her again. I get back to the hotel and she's cleared out in her passport suitcase the lot. Gone. Zip. Van bloody moosh. Give her something, though. These Aussies. It's true what they say, innit? They're a friendly bunch. <laughs>